That breaking news out of Richmond tonight, where a police officer was hit by a motorcycle. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 11. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. Police say that officer responded to a group of motorcycles driving aggressively near Broad Street and Terminal Boulevard. The officer was directing traffic when one of the motorcycles hit him and then took off. One of the drivers was later spotted in Henrico and is now being detained. The officer is being treated for a head injury. New tonight, reaction to Chesterfield dropping its mask mandate for students. Chesterfield schools making its 3-2 to two vote in a special meeting this evening. It's the final Central Virginia district to make a decision. 8 News reporter Sabrina Shutters is live in Chesterfield. Sabrina, in the end, the tie-breaking voter felt other prevention strategies would be good enough at this point. Well, Eric Deanna, yes, but the two losing voters felt for different reasons it was just too soon to make a decision. And the split school board's feelings mirrored that of the parents in the crowd. Half of them were upset, but the other half cheered as the vote was made. No more mask mandate in Chesterfield schools. Ann Coker. Aye. Thank you. Parents with mixed feelings. We're jumping to failure. Huge win for us. Disappointed, discouraged. A tight vote, three to two, ending in what parent Ann Tata says is just common sense. This is not a virus that's killing children, healthy children. Tata says the two who voted no or to keep the mask mandate, Dot Heffron and Katherine Haynes, are allowing divisiveness in the county. We can't. Obey one governor and then not another one. Mom Dominique Chatters made this sign showing a little over 80% of parents in the Dale district wanted to keep the mask mandate. She says the district has only been putting three feet of distance in between kids, which appears to be in line with policy. We are not doing six feet of distance. Now she says she'll ask her school officials to make sure her children aren't sitting with an unmasked child. Tiffany Smith is scared to death to send her immunocompromised son to middle school altogether. I don't trust them with the safety or health of my child. So at this point, I believe we're going to be looking at other educational options next year. Wearing a We the Parents shirt, Tatis is happy. The board aligned with Governor Glenn Youngkin, saying enough was enough. We did it your way, and it didn't improve anything. They keep, now there's a vaccine, now there's a booster, now there's this, now there's that. Now, masks are still required on school buses because of that federal order that's still in effect. Chesterfield's mask mandate will end starting on Thursday. For now, live in Chesterfield, Sabrina Shutters, 8 News. Thanks, Sabrina.